Hey, this is Doug from Doug and Nikki, and I'm here in the outdoor Doug and Nikki studio, and I have a cool new product to unbox, review, and give you a Doug score on from one to five, depending upon what I find as I review and use it. This is the Inventor 3.7 volt laser auto leveler. This comes in both a red and a green version. I have the green version here, which is rechargeable. What do you say we open it up, see what comes in it. I will explain to you how you could use it and I will check it out and I will let you know if it worked that way for me and then you'll know what to do if you wanna buy one or not. Let's go open it up and see what's in here. All right, let's see what's inside the magic box. Ooh, comes with the obvious instructions comes with this thing which i believe is going to be part of the auto leveling and calibrating but i could be wrong as i read the instructions we will figure that out here is the wire to charge it a usb wire it is oh it's usb c which is nice nice modern functioning comes in a really nice case come it is magnetic here is a magnetic mount for it let's try it that's pretty sweet, right? Okay, so it's got the magnetic mount. It also has built into it a quarter by 20 nut mounting point. So you could use that on pretty much anything from a photography tripod to a, a commercial tripod. So it, while I open it, let's talk about a couple things that this would be really great for. This would be outstanding for Let's say you have a new house in Florida, like the Doug and Nikki studio, and you have to hang out a whole lot of pictures and stuff, and you want them to be level. This will project a line on the wall. You can make them all level. Or if you're a little challenged and sometimes you miss that stud, if you figure out where the stud is and mark it vertically, you can repeat that without having to check it multiple times. But okay, so I've opened it up and wow, I have to say this looks a lot more sophisticated than what I was planning. Here's the quarter 20 where you can attach it to. Um, let's untape the button here, hit, hit the power and see if it has any juice or if I have to charge it up and come back to you guys. Let's see what happens. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to charge it up. All right, I'm gonna call timeout to charge it up and then we'll come back, we'll use it, and then I'll test it and come back and tell you how I did with it. Okay, I have got the Eventor laser level charged up and I've been using a little bit and this thing is simply incredible. Let me turn this way so you could see. I thought I would use this as an example. So right now it is in the locked position. So if I move it up, move it down, you know, it adjusts however I want it to go. I'm sure you can see the lines. How clear are these lines though on the wall? How great is that? So my wall is fairly level, but you could take this, let's move it back to something close to what I'm guessing is level. And let's turn on the self-leveling feature here. Okay, so now I have it. You could do, that's in vertical mode, horizontal mode. Let's just use horizontal mode. So, so as you can see, it's self-leveling itself. See it's self-leveling itself like that? How cool is that? So you know it is perfect level. And you know if it's not perfect level, if you move it out of where it can self-level itself, I have it on a tripod so I can move it around a lot. It flashes like that so you know it's not self-leveled. One other thing that I really wanted to show you about this, let's move it back to where it's self-leveling. There we go. So right, obviously we have it going across the wall and then look how it conforms here. Let me get myself out of the way of the level. Look how it conforms here to these funky shaped objects which, which could be on any wall that you're working with, but you're still gonna be perfectly level. I think that's the coolest. That is so cool. And for what it's worth, as you can see, my house is actually pretty level. I'm very impressed. Overall, this is a ridiculously cool and functional product. I love it. It took two seconds to charge it up. Read the manual, oh, one, one little mini complaint. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who's supposed to be able to read this manual without some major glasses, but it ain't me. But I got my glasses out and read it just fine. This thing is super cool. You gotta give it a thumbs up. And 
a five out of five on the Doug score because for what this is, what costs, and what this does, it is excellent. <laughs>